Hi everyone. So today I am just going to get ready with you. I'm going to put my makeup on and I may well pop on a red lip seeing as it's Valentine's Day, but I may not. See how I feel. I have got some new products that I am keen to try, so I'm doing it with you, you know, because that's just more fun. More fun for me and hopefully more fun for you. So the things I have are some, well, actually I say new, they're not that new. The Le Beige Chanel foundation, which I may have touched upon before, but I haven't really been using. So I'm going to put that on to show you how wonderfully natural and lovely it is. And also, this is new. This is the Fleur de Printemps Duo Blush and Highlighter by Chanel. And it has a little brush and also this is the duo. So the highlighter is quite pinky and then the blush is pinky. So that I'm going to use and I might put it on my eyes as well. Or I've got some Victoria Beckham palettes, which are just lush. Everything about the Victoria Beckham makeup is lush. This, this is the signature palette. As you can see, it is very nice and natural. And then I also have Tweed, which is just a bit more rich in terms of tones. I really like this one here. It's got like a bit of a shimmeriness to it. So I might have a go on that. Let's see how I go. Um, oh, and an amazing new mascara by Lancome, which I am obsessed with. So let's start. Oh, I'm just gonna roll down my sweater. This I've just received from a brand, a Russian brand, I think they're Russian, um, called Naked Shoulders. Please check them out. I will link to them in the bottom of the caption because they're brill. All their stuff's gorgeous and this is like really lovely soft cashmere. Anyway, this is Victoria Beckham by Augustinus Bader and it's the Cell Rejuvenating Priming Moisturiser which I'm going to just use about that much on my face to kind of prime it. Prime the complexion ready for the Chanel Le Beige. I really love this cream. I have the kind of shimmery glowy version of it. It's not the right terminology but I did share it in the summer because it's quite nice to just wear on tan skin when you're not wearing any other makeup. So that's the first thing that I'm doing. Okay, so next up, Le Beige, right. So I have it in shade number B20. And you know what? I'm not gonna use a brush. I'm gonna use my fingers. I think it's a nice thing to do. I've said it before, I, sometimes I'm in a brush mood and sometimes I'm in a fingers mood and I've been in a fingers mood for quite some time now. I just feel like it really melts the makeup into the skin a lot nicer. Okay, so that's all on. Now I like to put that priming moisturiser on before this particular foundation because I do find that it hasn't got that kind of, I'm gonna say oily residue, which I like. It just, that it's got a, a bit of a kind of dryness to it. I don't want that to sound negative. It's just that it, I suppose, it's got a bit of a mattifying agent in there. So I like to kind of add a bit of a glow underneath. I hope that makes sense to you. So anyone looking to invest in it, it's not as um, kind of lightweight and natural as say the, sorry, I had to find it, the freshwater tint. This one is really natural and really kind of like um, hydrating feeling and you know, etc. So 
and this one is definitely more of a kind of gives you more coverage right got that cleared up just going to do some concealer now i've got the glossier stretch concealer in g10 which i think is like the second to lightest shade i think it goes up to g11 this is a real techniques brush number 300 So I'm not going to conceal anywhere else where I usually would around my nose and chin because the foundation has done that. So that kind of gives you an idea of the sort of coverage that it gives. Now I'm going to do my eyes and I am going to use one of the Victoria Beckham palettes in Signature. And I'm going to use just these two natural colours and just sort of mix them together a bit. I think I should probably do a whole other video on kind of eye makeup from the Victoria Beckham palettes because they are so nice and I also have a lovely bronze eyeliner from them as well so that could be a nice sort of natural more like natural smoky eye is that a thing? Well, I'm going to make it a thing. Okay, so that's those two colours kind of all over the lid. Nice, like that. And, oh, by the way, this is a hourglass brush number 12. Don't know if that's the correct brush to be doing the whole lid with, but hey ho. They have some other nice hourglass brushes like this one, number 14, which just feels nice to brush across your lid. I'm sure it has a more technical purpose than that. Now then, what's next? Let's do brows. Okay, Merit, still loving this guy. Volumizing pomade in brown. I really like it. Oh, mirror. Um, it is just very good. That's all I can say. And I will add a bit of pencil as well. My MAC brow product, I can never remember the name of it, the one that's like a thin brush, has run out again. So that's annoying. Seems to run out very quickly. Right, brow pencil, hourglass in soft brunette, which I don't know if I am. I suppose my roots are soft brunette. Or are they? Mousy brown. I say that in a negative way because I always think mousy brown hair is just boring, isn't it? I'm in a bit of a hair predicament, guys. I don't know what to do. Do I continue to grow my hair? Do I um, maybe give it a chop, go a bit shorter again? Do I go blonder? tricky off this big chunk of white hair here which my boys think is very cool so maybe it is I'm not so sure anyway I'm in thought about it please comment and let me know what you think I should do sometimes I think oh maybe I should go short and like you know really platinum is that kind of done? I don't know if that's a thing. Oh, have I gone a bit over the top of my brows? Possibly. <laughs> Let's brush a bit out. Possibly. Mm. Okay, then what's next? Goodness. Oh, I tell you what. I tell you what I'm going to do. I am going to do a bit of blush, this Chanel one, and I'm going to put a bit on my eyes. That's what I'm gonna do, because I feel that, that is a good idea. So I'm kind of just going over the two of them. I'm not separating out into 
highlighter and blush, I think I'm quite happy for them to be mixed together because look at that. It gives a lovely pinky sheen. Delightful. A Valentine's Day flush, if you will. Honestly, guys, those of you in relationships where you would quite like to be enjoying some Valentine's activity, but have kids, let me tell you, it's not easy. Literally no privacy in this home right now. Did you need to know that? I don't know. Common lockdown problems. So I'm gonna use this nice fluffier brush, the number 14 by Hourglass, and I am going to just kind of use a bit of the shimmery highlighter side of this Chanel palette and just sweep it over the whole lid in a very confident fashion. I don't know if this is a thing that you should do, but I feel that it's working. Look, unified, a very unified, pinky, almost springtime vibe. I like that. I'm happy with that. I'm feeling it. I'm going to bring it up. I'm going to bring it up to the brow bone, even. Mm, it's good. Happy. Very versatile palette, blush palette. I'd put it on my lips if I could, but it, it would probably be too dry um, as it is powder based. Now, let's put some other highlighter on other areas. So the one I'm going to use is my Merit highlighter in Carver. And that is going to go here on my Cupid's bow. And a bit down the nose and in my eye corners. And then maybe just, I'll just dab a little bit here because I like to. Maybe a bit up there. Yes, this is really nice. I love this highlighter. I love all the Merit products. They are very good. And it is a shame at the moment in the UK that you can't get hold of it. I know many have asked about it after I did my video about the, the um, launch. Um, and I don't have an update on when UK delivery is available. So I'm sorry about that, but it will happen, guys. And it will be well worth the wait. So, uh, Kevin or Quan eyelash curlers. Okay. Right. This is amazing. The Lancome Idol. Or, or I'm, I'm wondering, are you supposed to pronounce it Idol? I prefer that pronunciation. So it's got a curved brush and it is a great great mascara in terms of for me personally with my short eyelashes I feel like it lengthens and it keeps the curl up because I have talked before about how frustrating it is when I curl my lashes then certain mascaras I'll put on and then the, the curl just falls down hate that but these are standing to attention Very satisfying. Right, I've not been putting mascara on my bottom lashes for a little while now and quite liking it, but I think maybe I'll just do a tiny bit today just to show you the fact that the brush works nicely down there too. You'd hope so, wouldn't you? Just a little bit down there. What am I missing? I'm missing lipstick. So, with it being Valentine's Day, I think it would be appropriate to put on a nice red. And this is the one that I'm going to put on. It is gorgeous. It's the Chanel Rouge Allure Velvet Extreme in colour 136 Pivon Noir. And listen, very good packaging. So yeah, love this, really nice red. So I'm gonna put that on. I think it will look nice with the gray jumper.
I love how red lipstick just makes your teeth look really white, which I need <laughs> right now. Is anyone else feeling like, I can't wait to get to the dentist? Whereas before I'd be like, oh, dreading going to the dentist now. I'm like, just get me in there. Get me in the dentist, especially with the hygienist. I just want to give these teeth a good clean. Not that I'm not trying at home with my own toothbrush, but there's nothing like going to a dental hygienist. My dental hygienist is called Olaf and um, he looks like his name. It's brilliant. Well, that's it for makeup. What do you think? Hopefully you like that. Mm, I'm happy. I am now going to just put in my favourite little earrings. Love these. Why all blues? Very satisfying, chunky little gold hoop. And spritz of my current favourite perfume. This deal one called Oud Ispahan. Ispahan? It's lush. It really is. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. So, lovely, lovely. Now I'm ready. Thanks everybody for watching. Have a great rest of your Sunday. Have a great week and I'll see you next time. Bye.